Hi everyone, it's uh, Dr. Burgess here, and this is uh, starting a brand new topic, which is on the AQA A-level spec, which is 3.7.4, populations in ecosystems. So today I'm going to be looking at key terms. Just a quick spec check. So as you can see, we're gonna look at uh, how populations of different species form a community. So it's a, co a community and the non-living components, the abiotic factors of its environment together form an ecosystem. So ecosystems can range in size from the very small to the very large. So within a habitat, a species occupies a niche governed by adaptation to both abiotic and biotic factors. So what I intend to do with this um, video is just to quickly go through all the key definitions you're going to need for this section of work. OK, so first of all, you need to know uh, that ecology is the study of the interrelationships between organisms and their environment. So the environment includes both non-living, so the abiotic factors such as temperature and rainfall, and living the biotic factors such as competition and predation. So what I'm going to use is this example of a woodland, of a very diverse woodland, uh, but we're going to talk about uh, all the individual interrelationships that are going on. So firstly, uh, first keyword, population. So population is a group of individuals of one species that occupy the same habitat at the same time. So for example, the example here, roe deer. So they're a group of individuals of one species and they therefore occupy the same habitat in the glade of this woodland. Community. So community is all the populations of different species living and interacting in a particular place at the same time. So in this case, you've got the roe deer, you've got the fritillary butterfly, you've got the badger, you've got the green woodpecker. So lots of different populations of different species uh, are all in the same place um, at the same time. Environment. So environment includes both the non-living, the abiotic and living factors, biotic of an area. So for example, the biotic is going to be the community of individual species and non-living abiotic factors are things such as soil, moisture, wind speed, temperature, um, all the things that might affect the uh, animals and plants that live in that area. Habitat, so the place where an organism lives. So it's characterized by physical conditions and other types of organisms present. So in this case, this is a woodland um, scenario. So we have a habitat of woodland and also grassland as well. Uh, so it will be characterized by certain physical abiotic conditions and, there, and all the the types of organisms that live in that area. Ecological niche. So that describes how an organism fits into the environment. So it refers to where an organism lives and what it does there. So this is governed by the biotic and abiotic conditions to which an organism is adapted in order to have a viable population. So uh, for example, green woodpecker over here. OK, so um, it lives uh, in a tree, so this is an oak tree, okay, and it's governed by biotic factors, so it's governed by competition for um, by other woodpeckers or different species of woodpecker for certain types of insects that they might, might eat, and abiotic conditions, so therefore it's going to prefer probably shaded areas. Um, and also food is going to be really important for the woodpecker because it's quite a large species. Ecosystem, made up of a community and all the non-living factors of an environment. So it can range from really very small areas to extremely large areas. Okay, so this next one is for my year 12 group. So I'd like you to download the keyword file, uh, complete it and hand in via Google Classroom. 
Okay, here's some extension work. What I would like you to do is to write down these sentences and try and decide on the correct keyword that replaces the number. So if you're doing this through YouTube, then you can pause the video. Fantastic place or resource is BBC iPlayer at the moment. So on BBC, they like to play a lot of natural hist history documentaries. So particularly the series by David Attenborough related to planet Earth. Um, and there's, those are really fantastic for, for looking at all the kind of keywords related to populations and ecosystems. So it gives you some really good examples. And I would really um, say that as part of your studies, you should be watching uh, some of these natural history documentaries uh, for your course, but also because they're so amazing. Okay, thanks for listening and I'll be back soon.